So it's been a hot minute since I've done anything about bad fanfiction. In fact, I think the last time I did it was when I was talking about all those weird Barack Obama fanfics. And the reason for that is that it's extremely difficult to find fanfictions that would really work to do a video about, because either they're all just really bad in a boring way, where not much happens and it's not very fun and yada yada, uh, or they're bad in the same way as everything else, where it's just things that we've seen before and it's, so it wouldn't really be that entertaining to uh, read along with and laugh at. Uh, that's why it took me so long to do a read-through of My Immortal, and I really only did it because of uh, Patreon people asking for it. And frankly, a lot of fanfictions are just kind of gross. You know, they're, they're not as entertaining to read, or at least not as entertaining for other people to read. I still find them funny once in a while. Uh, but once in a while, you come across a fanfiction that is just so odd, not only in concept, but just like you hear the title of it and you're instantly going, oh, okay, that's what we're doing today. And uh, I came across one of those recently, so here's the video on it. It's called Trapped in a Island with Jenny Nicholson. This is the introduction song. It's not very good, but it's not too long. The title of my video is not a typo, by the way. That That is actually what this fanfic is called. Now, for those unfamiliar, Jenny Nicholson is another YouTuber who has been around for quite a while. We actually have a pretty similar setup. At least she used to sit on her bed and do stuff. I still do it. But anyways, the point is, a long time ago, she read through an odd Wattpad fanfiction called Trapped in a Island with Josh Hutcherson. And I recommend you go watch that video now before you watch the rest of this, partially because it's just a really funny video and partially because a lot of stuff we're going to go through is not going to make much sense if you haven't seen it. So I'll just wait for you to go do that. Are you back? Cool. So, I came across this one basically by chance a little while ago, and I thought, huh, that's kind of funny. It, th I didn't think there'd be anything too odd about it. I thought it would basically just be repeating the events of Trapped in an Island with Josh Hutcherson, only replacing Josh Hutcherson with Jenny Nicholson. This one kind of does that. Uh, and honestly, I waited um, for a while before I did anything with this, partially because I figured if anything, Jenny Nicholson would want to do a video on it, and she would have uh, the first rights to it as far as I was concerned. But it's, one, it's been around for quite a while, and two, if she's aware of it, I don't think she's a fan. So the summary is, Taurus John idolizes Jenny Nicholson and would do anything to hang out with her. A big wave inexplicably brings them together. An accident happens. A self-insert character is introduced and a hot celebrity washes ashore. Parody of Trapped in a Island with Josh Hutcherson, all rights reserved. Now, I find the fact that this is called a parody kind of interesting because Trapped in a Island with Josh Hutcherson was already very strange, and I'm pretty sure it was trolling, or at least partially trolling. Uh, so, making this a parody, I I'm not sure how you could really make that more ridiculous. So, at the beginning of chapter one, uh, the author Tara Jean or sorry, Tara underscore Jean, says that she did uh, go back and fix some plot holes and continuity errors, and so she has tweaked some things, but you should keep that in mind as we go ahead that this is the edited version. Like, this was improved upon from what was before. And also, if it's meant to be a parody, why would you really care about continuity errors and plot holes and stuff, especially considering how full of those the original story was? Like, wouldn't having continuity errors and plot holes, shouldn't you make them even bigger and more obvious if you're gonna parody something? Um, uh, alright, I, I guess I'm thinking too much about it. Taurus, POV. If you knew me at all, you'd know I wasn't an ordinary girl, like my parents thought. All they, all they did was pressure me to work at the local psych ward, but I had bigger dreams. My biggest inspiration was Jenny Nicholson, a YouTuber on YouTube. I had just finished watching her video, Trapped in a Island with Josh Hutcherson. My pants were heavy with piss, and my eyes overflowed with happy tears. Little did I know water was going to be a theme today, dot dot dot. My parents named me Taurus because I'm an Aries, and they were both high when I was born. I used the couch that was my birthing place as my computer chair. Feeling like there was enough, ex enough exposition to the story, I flitted down the stairs excitedly. 
My parents were staring at me with disapproving looks on their faces. So, you might have noticed from that piss comment, um, this is honestly a little gross at times. Like, nothing really crazy over the top, but enough to notice. And, like I said, this is kind of just the same as the opening to the Josh Hutcherson one. Like, the main character's parents are trying to get her to be a doctor, except in this case they want her to work at a psych ward, and she wants to instead be a YouTuber, whereas in the other one she wanted to be an actor. And in this one, she also gets in a boat and is gonna sail away to Los Angeles, and that's kind of it. That Like, uh, it's written in such a way where it's a little bit more obvious that this one is just making fun of something as opposed to just being really weird on its own, but it's still nothing too different so far. Jenny, POV. I was on the X-rated My Little Pony party yacht for vacation, and so far it had been a magical time. So, right off the bat, I think you're already starting to see where I was going with my earlier comments about how if Jenny knows about this, she's probably not a fan. I mean, I can't say for certain, as far as I'm aware, she's never commented on it, and I don't know her personally, but something tells me, yeah. I had vlogged a big fury Applejack handing out apples that turned out to be candy apples, but cut the film when a rainbow dash in assless chaps gave me skittles that turned out to be ecstasy. I was having a grand old time by my lonesome when Princess Celestia wearing a butt plug strutted over to me looking pissed. We're going to have to ask you to leave. Why? I said in a protesty pitch of tone. Because you worked on our competitor. Friendship is witchcraft. This wasn't the first time this happened, but I was still taken back. Oh, sorry, I was still taken of back. Yeah, sorry, there's, there's a line break after but in the middle of the sentence, which is kind of odd. No, you don't understand. I love you guys. I get it. You like to come on our boats and enjoy your little fetish, then laugh behind our tails. You are dismissed. It's not a fetish. I'm an adult who genuinely enjoys the shi- Before I could finish an argument I couldn't win, Buttplug Celestia was picking me up in her strong hooves, just like I had imagined them, and she flung me overboard. So, chapter one ends with Jenny washing up on an island, which is pretty clearly the same island that Taurus went to, and, you know, so far this is just the same as Trapped in an Island with Josh Hutcherson. Not much has changed. Taurus, POV. I awoke on the sand of what was an island. Oh, sorry. I awoke on the sand of what was a island. You'd think I would get this eventually, but no. There was something missing to this, I knew. I stood up and looked at the tall, descriptive trees and the sandwiches that grew from their branches. This seems tropical, I thought. I noticed shoe prints and realized there might be a weirdly shaped animal nearby. I crept along the trail, stealthily tripping a few times, until I spotted a figure huddled up in the corner of a cave. Help! It said in what could be a scream, but judging by how monotone it was, it sounded sarcastic. Oh, so I guess it would be, help. Is that is that how it would sound then? I, I don't know. I don't think you can scream and sound sarcastic at the same time. I couldn't believe my eyes when the figure revealed its shelf. It was Jenny Nicholson. How convenient it was for us to cross paths. I gasped. It's you, Jenny Nicholson. I love you. I have all your merch, and I say your name when I get up in the morning and when I masturbate. Yeah, I'm not reading the rest of that bit. Uh, she also says she wants to drink Jenny's urine, which is just kind of odd. I, I, uh, no, it's not odd. It's just a little gross and uncomfortable. Like, sure, if you're into that, whatever. But this is going from, like, parody to just throwing weird sex stuff at us. And that's, um... That, that's a lot less funny. It's not just less funny, but it's also probably uncomfortable for the person who it's focused on. Like, I've always thought that fanfiction of real people is very odd, and in some cases uncomfortable, but in this case, it's more obvious, I feel. So we have a brief switch to Jenny's POV, where her and Taurus introduce themselves. Uh, Taurus talks about how her mom has downgraded herself to a background character, Jenny says it's tragic and that it adds layers to her character, so it's good. You know, that sort of thing. And then go to chapter 3, Taurus POV. One week later, Jenny's neck wound had begun to heal. I led her around the island with me as we explored the sandwich trees and lakes of smart water. Occasionally, the trident in her neck would make her get caught in a small opening, but other than that, her condition wasn't very notable. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, Taurus stabbed Jenny in the neck with a trident. It, uh... Doesn't really lead to much of anything, so you'll have to forgive me for forgetting to bring it up, but 
It did indeed happen. Why are you smiling? Jenny asked. Shame, I replied. You have your quirks. I can't decide yet if I mildly dislike them or if I want to stab myself. Oh, right, that won't kill me. You'd want me to take care of you all over again? My Jenny, that makes me glad. And you use my name instead of God's? Have your parents ever had you mentally examined? Yeah, they wanted me to get mentally examined for a job at a psych ward. They claimed I would fit in there because they think I'm a so-called delusional, delusional psychopath. So I tried to escape to come see you and be a YouTuber like you. Now that we're together, I'll do whatever it takes to keep it that way. A look of horror had spread across Jenny's face. That meant her facial features had changed about a millimeter, but I knew her well enough to identify her emotions. As someone else who has a bit of a stunted affect, I find this... a little insulting. Suddenly, Jenny was swinging her neck trident my way. It slashed me across the face and I laughed. You're not the one who gets take, to take care of me. You get to be in my care on this love island we share. Forever. Tears of joy cascaded down her face as she took another swing at me, this time lunging towards my chest. Giggling, I put my palm out and let the head of the trident come to a halt in my tendons and bones. I never saw this playful side of you. You know you already have my heart. Jenny screamed in delight as I calmly pulled my palm free of the trident. She weakly swung again and missed, and I kicked her lovingly to the ground where she could take a break from playtime in the moss and mud. You know, usually with a trident, you don't swing it so much as you stab with it. Like, that's what it's designed for. It's for catching fish. And if you're going to use it in a fight, it would be similar to a spear, which is also designed for stabbing, not slashing. So anyways, Taurus stabs Jenny with a trident again in, in the head this time. Chapter 4, Jenny POV. Fuck you, I yelled. I, I don't think Jenny has ever used any swear words in any of her videos before, so that's a little weird to hear. Or to imagine, I suppose, because when I'm hearing it, it's just me saying it. Ah, what a relief, I thought, as Taurus ended her second step and moved on to her third. Better than ever, I grabbed the tridents off the ground. I tossed one to Taurus, and I rasped epically. We settle this with a duel, crazy bitch! I realized I'd found myself in a situation where so many main characters had of books I'd read. I was like the main character of a badly written fanfiction created by a bored young adult with way too much time on her hands. If there really is no god and I am just like a character in a page, I hope the author knows she can fuck herself for the way she's written this situation. Author's note. Ouch. Okay, wait. So, you're telling me that the author of this wrote this and then had a character in this insult herself, so she's insulting herself indirectly, and then pretended that it was hurtful. This is getting meta, man. This is getting really meta. Taurus was looking at me like Amanda Seyfried looked at Rachel McAdams in Mean Girls when Karen was confused about something. Then a more fiery look entered her expression. She gave the trident a few twirls and gave me an evil smirk. Fine, she stated brusquely. We duel. Should we actually use the tridents, or do you want a fist fight or something? We use our fists, I said. Now I had a plan. I used to fantasize about you saying that, but never like this, Taurus replied. Narrator's note. Gross. She dropped her trident. If I defeat you, I'm going to steal your YouTube channel, wear your skin, and pretend to be you. So Taurus is about to kill Jenny after their duel, and then another girl comes out of the jungle screaming and she uh, knocks her down, and then Jenny jumps in and they both attack her together. I quickly joined her and we kicked Taurus to death side by side. You're Jenny Nicholson, aren't you? The girl said between sharp breaths. My name is username Tara underscore Jean. But you can call me TJ. Wow, what a coincidence. Her initials were TJ too. I pointed to the fleshy, football-shaped raisin that was Taurus's head. Yes, I'm Jenny. Are you a subscriber? Yeah, you're a pretty cool YouTuber, I guess. She flashed me a winning smile as Taurus's spleen exploded and flew up into the air. She's so awesome and stuff, I thought. I'd never felt this way about someone before. It's like I couldn't think a single negative thought about her. Like she was the coolest, most interesting, and desirable person on an island. She made me feel like I could forget the intense trauma I'd just gone through instantaneously so that we could have a day together that subscriber like her would fantasize about having. To be continued. Uh, author's note. Thanks for the great feedback, everyone. Taurus is dead. And up next is chapter 5, which is actually the final chapter. Even though this thing is officially labeled as ongoing, it hasn't been updated since... 2018, so I think it's safe to say that it is finished. Username Tara underscore Jean POV. 
I stared at Jenny Nicholson in the face, a million thoughts running through my head. First, like how this morning I had woken up in the shed that the organization had named me Emerging Artist of the Year had sculpted for me, I had sprung out of my bed with my messy blonde hair falling gently down my shoulders and baby smooth skin. You know, I feel like that's supposed to be poking fun at the way that a lot of fan fictions will not only have characters whose uh, appearances are described in way too much detail, but they're also just way too perfect, but Part of me also feels like maybe this author, despite trying to do a parody, is not skilled enough to do that. It's also revealed that apparently Tara underscore Jean was actually live-streaming this whole thing while, while she was killing Taurus along with Jenny. Like, I guess this island has enough of a Wi-Fi signal to do that, which makes me wonder how much of a deserted island is it really, and how have they not run into any other people? Like, and I... I know in the original Trapped in an Island with Josh Hutcherson story, it is explained why the author was there. Author self-insert, who was also a different author self-insert than the original author self-insert. Uh, trust me, like I said, you need to watch the original video before you understand what's going on here. So if you're someone that hasn't, then you deserve to be confused by that. But yeah, there was at least an explanation. It was a stupid one, but it was there. This one... There's no reason for her to be on the island. It, it's just, um... Uh, Alright, so Tara underscore Jean and Jenny get to know each other much the same way that Taurus and Jenna just got to know each other. Jenny, excuse me, just got to know each other, and then they walk through the jungle and stuff. Jenny blew the seeds off of one of those gray, seedy-ass weeds and looked wistful. No, I don't think I could ever live a normal life again. I'm too famous and too deep into YouTube and the various cults I'm in. Sometimes I wish I could go back to when I didn't get harassed at Comic-Con, back when I could read my emails with a glass of wine and not having people email me bad fanfiction, you know? But you read the fanfiction anyways? Oh yes, it's quite entertaining and makes for good video content. Those stories are prime examples of bad, self-inserting wish fulfillment with unrealistic, nonsensical story arcs. Okay, just because you're self-aware about it doesn't make it better. So they decide to take a shower and they put on a sexy red string bikinis and the same Gucci jumpsuit but in red uh, worn on over their bikinis. I'm not sure where they're getting any of these things. It's just, um, they, they're getting them. Someone is coming toward us! I turned to where she was looking as a shadowy figure front crawled towards us. His silhouette was short and stocky, with a square jaw and short, messy hair. As he got closer, I saw his nipples pointing through his wet, white t-shirt that was stretched over bulging muscles. He had a cute face with nice brown eyes. Wait, could that be who I thought it was? Hi, my name is Josh, Josh Hutcherson said. Okay, like, what is... What, what is going on anymore? Like, to do a parody of something, or to do satire as well, which is similar to parody, but not quite the same, you have to have clarity of purpose with it. Like, part of me just wants to laugh at how stupid this is, and clearly the author knows it's stupid, but it still needs to work on some level. So Josh Hutcherson is there, and he's like a hunk and stuff, and Jenny and Tara underscore Jean are both kind of into him, but also kind of into each other because the sexualities of these characters were not very well defined. And Josh wanted to show Tara Jean a birthmark that he had, but it turns out it was actually a digital clock that was embedded in his neck and it's counting down. And um, it, the doctor says it's a rare condition and when it reaches zero, he's going to die. Uh, like at this, at this point, it's just weird in a different way than the original story was weird. Or at, really, this whole time it's been weird in a different way. Like it's not just the same story kicked up to 11, it's just it's just going in a different direction. It's weird. And anyways, uh, it says that Josh has uh, 15 seconds to live, and then he dies. Uh, there wasn't much point to that. It just sort of happened. And then uh, Jenny decides that she wants to kill un Tara underscore Jean, and so she does, in fact, kill her. I explained all of this to TJ out loud as I quickly took the knife out of my back and rammed it in her skull, like it was a bulletin born, and I attacked it. I wasn't going to waste any time monologuing and ruining my one chance of killing the protagonist, in doing so, becoming one myself. However, I don't think she understood what happened because 
She screeched over the top of the monologue, and the way I jammed all of the words into the span of 0.6 seconds made it sound like, I pressed TJ's Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus against her fingerprint several times to unlock it, then dialed. Whoa, that means this is a science fiction story. Confirmed. The phone picked up after a few rings. Who's calling? A gruff voice asked. It's Nicholson. We have a code P on an island. Come get me. Will do, boss. About an hour after I called, I heard gay club music in the distance and saw a black, glittery figure out on the ocean. The Friendship is Witchcraft Triple X party go boat sailed gracefully ashore, and my fixer Ray came off the boat and gazed at the gore before him. He spoke into a walkie-talkie in a low voice. Looks like a bad stab wound on Jenny. Bring the health kit and other stuff. Stat. He crouched down. Do you want me to get rid of these bodies? No, I panted. I framed it to look like a murder-suicide. Just throw away this phone and these boots that I used to kick someone to death in. Copy that. Ray let out a single glistening tear, and it slid down his hard face. We missed you. We're so glad to have found you. There's another disappointing Marvel movie out, and people need a sardonic review of it. I will definitely do that at some point, I said. But first, I'm going to take a vacation. The girl who died has a mansion here for another month. I checked it on her Google Calendar. I want you and all my friends on that boat to stay here and celebrate things coming to an end. Roy no Ray nodded with a small smile on his face. I love you like a daughter, Jenny, he said, as some people came out with the medical stuff for me. Ray headed back to the ship. His glittery fake rainbow tail swayed to and fro, and it gave me hope for the future, but not for the Marvel movie. The end. So, um, I'd like to say that was a bit of a journey, but it, um, it really wasn't. It was ki kind of stupid, and I can't say I was bored, but, um, I I'm just kind of confused now. Like, I'm not sure what the point of that was, but hey... I guess it's not hurting anyone, it, it, but it doesn't uh, paint Jenny Nicholson in exactly a great light, which is what I meant when I said I'm not sure she would be a fan of this <laughs> if she was aware of it. Um, I, I kind of wish I could glean some like broader message from this or deeper themes, but I don't think there's any of that really. Like, I, I think it's kind of odd how we now have fan fiction of real people, which is itself derived from fanfiction based on real people, and I, I kind of want this chain to keep going. I, I want it to reach a point where everything that we read and watch and hear about is easily traced back to a real person. Like, you know, I want them to make a Marvel movie and then come out of it and realize, wait a minute, this is this is basically just the life of Martin Scorsese. Like, I, I want that to be, to be happening, and... Um, I, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I know I did. I, I didn't, but you know, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Special thanks to everyone who watched this far, including and especially my patrons and channel members. My $10 and up patrons include Oppo Savalanen, Olivia Rayan, Brother Santodes, Buffy Valentine, Carolina Clay, Christopher Quinton, Dan Antlis, Ant, 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 Dan, Echo, Joel, Karkat Kitsune, Liza Rudakova, Lord Tiebreaker, Madison Lewis Bennett, Marilyn Roxy, Micah Phone, Sad Mardigan, Tobacco Crow, Tom Beanie, Vey Victus, and of course, all the other names listed here. You guys are great. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. If you want to get your name put up here, then consider becoming a patron. You get stuff like early access to my videos. And if you don't want that, then how about maybe just becoming a channel member or dropping me a tip over on PayPal or just, you know, sharing this um, video. I just, you, yeah, you get the picture. Goodbye. Bye.